cute. Come on. How cute is that? Haley and Christian got me this. It's got little stripes. It's got the and it's like a texture, like it's raised. <laughs> Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Jess and I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Winnie the Pooh, Springtime with Rue. Winnie the Pooh, Springtime with Rue is a 2004 animated directed video release. It is directed by Saul Blinkoff and Elliot M. Bauer. Supervising unit director Colin Baker. Editing by Robert S. Burchard. Music by Mark Waters. And it's written by Tom Rogers. It stars all of the same people that have been in these. Jim Cummings, Kath Susie, Nikita Hopkins, John Fiedler, Ken Sansa. Like, it's all the same people, except David Ogden Steers is the narrator. They'll all be listed in the description. Animation speaking, it looked pretty decent. It didn't look like, you know, the television quality animation and set to direct a video. They obviously did direct, or direct, animate this specifically uh, to make this film. So it is a little bit better quality. It's pretty average for direct -to video quality. This is a musical and not like a musical in the sense of like old school poo where a narrator or a chorus is singing the songs. The characters in this actually sing the songs, mostly Tigger and Rue, um, but I think Rabbit's got a song in there um, and every character kind of participates in some way or another. Um, the music was not very catchy. I wasn't really vibing with a lot of the songs. I would say Maybe the last one uh, was the most catchy. It was very sweet, but otherwise they weren't that catchy, so I wasn't really on board. So this is technically a Christmas Carol adaptation, but Easter spun. So um, Rabbit is Scrooge. Um, there's a point where Tigger's, Tigger's, Tigger says, um, what in the Dickens? And he turns and breaks the fourth wall and says, and I do mean Dickens. <laughs> and it, that was very sweet and very funny. Um, but this is very, like, the whole concept is Rabbit doesn't want to be the Easter Bunny anymore. Um, and is, like, trying to make everyone do spring cleaning day and is very, like, anti-celebrating Easter. And, um, everyone's trying to figure out why. And so they see on his previous, the previous Easter... He was being very like, this is how we have to do things, not really letting anyone have any fun, and it was his way or the highway. And um, the gang kind of ended up having an Easter egg hunt without Rabbit, and Rue told Tigger that he was a great Easter bunny and it hurt Rabbit. So Rabbit's coming from a place of hurt, um, but he still was like being total tyrant during Easter, not listening to anyone kind of being a turd blossom and then was like not explaining why he doesn't want to be the Easter Bunny was just being a turd to people but the story still spins it very like it's all rabbit's fault which like he was the one you know to cause them to want to go and do an egg hunt um not necessarily without him but they wanted to have an egg hunt and he wasn't like he was like no we have to do this 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 and uh it you know so and it, it it's kind of like Obviously, they cause some hurt to him, um, but Rabbit is definitely the one that's like at fault. He's the Scrooge, um, but they very paint it like very like it's all Rabbit's fault. It's like yes, okay. Obviously, um, he was being a little ridiculous, um, but his his feelings are valid that he was hurt that someone, you know, that Rue called Tigger the Easter Bunny. But um, I love every single one of these characters, man. I know I've said it a thousand times, but I freaking love Winnie the Pooh. Like, I, I love Winnie the Pooh so much. In a shocking turn of events, I cried. <laughs> I, it came out of nowhere. I really thought I was gonna make it through this Winnie the Pooh movie without crying. I was like, yes, okay, I'm not super invested. Um, it's a very sweet story, obviously, as usual, but like, I'm totally fine. But then at the end, when Rabbit reveals, like, he's like, I, Rue, I owe you an Easter egg hunt. And it's this beautiful decorated Easter egg hunt. Um, I got really emotional. But then when Rue gave Rabbit the freaking 
Easter bunny hat, I was done. That was it, I cried. I started laughing at myself because it's ridiculous. I can't not cry at a Winnie the Pooh movie. I've said it a thousand times, but it's starting to be a little ridiculous. Winnie the Pooh has a chokehold on my life. I just, oh my gosh. Um, this was very sweet. By far and away, not the best Winnie the Pooh movie. I think I will always just, I think the original movie from the 70s is probably my favorite. And then Pooh's Grand Adventure is my second favorite. Um, all of these little directed video ones, TV ones, have been very sweet, and I like them. Um, Tigger's, Tigger's movie and Piglet's big movie, both incredible. <laughs> so the big ones have been so good, um, and this was very sweet. But it's definitely not like their best, but it did make me cry, so like, what are you gonna do? That's everything I have for Winnie the Pooh Springtime with Rue. My final rating is five Easter eggs. That made me think of the TikTok audio. Two Easter eggs. That one. Plastic eggs? I don't know what he says. Anyway, <laughs> I'd have to hear the audio. And then, uh, so yeah, five Easter eggs out of ten. Our total movie count is. Parent, death, Tolton, cry count. Whoa, cry count is. <laughs> That's all also the same. If you want to keep up with the movie I'm watching when follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you'll find out what movie I'm watching when I put out videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon. I put out, uh, there's tiers starting at just one dollar. Uh, and you can, you know, get a coupon code for merch, get every video a week early, and then tiers above that, you get like bonus stuff. It's all a really good time. Um, and buy merch. Merch is sick. I'm not currently wearing merch because Haley Christian got me this adorable Tigger shirt that I've already raved about, but like, come on. Um, but yeah, go buy merch. It's the best. And until next time, comment, like, subscribe, and I'm not charge of real life. You are, so you do you, and talk about your feelings, okay? Tell people how they've hurt you, okay? Like, do it. You're gonna feel so much better, and you're gonna establish probably a deeper bond. If that person gets defensive and is kind of a turd blossom about it, they're reacting to it, you know, that's their problem. You can only control how you act and react, okay? My hair is still wet because I have injured myself. And flipping over to blow dry my hair is just not happening. So my hair is still wet. Sorry.